Welcome to the Broadway Across America Report, our monthly guide to all of the need-to-know buzz about your favorite touring Broadway productions headed to a city near you. For April, we're giving you the latest updates about Hamilton, Wicked, The Sound of Music, and Something Rotten. If you're wondering if the Hamilton buzz has died down, it hasn't. The Tony-winning musical, which continues to sell out its New York and Chicago performances, will launch a second national tour next year. The musical's first tour, starring Michael Lawaye and Tony nominees Joshua Henry and Rory O'Malley, recently got underway in San Francisco. The second touring production will begin at Seattle's Paramount Theater on February 6, 2018, and will travel to eight additional cities, including Portland, Salt Lake City, Costa Mesa, and Minneapolis in its first season. You don't want to miss Lin-Manuel Miranda's Pulitzer Prize-winning musical, so secure your tickets early by becoming a subscriber. Look who's wonderful. Jenna Claire Mason, who's been the Glinda standby in Broadway's Wicked for the last year, is now starring as the Good Witch herself in the touring production of the blockbuster musical. The current touring company of Wicked also features Jessica Vosk as Elphaba, Andy Mientis as Bach, Jeremy Woodard as Fierro, Isabel Keating as Madame Morrible, and Fred Applegate as The Wizard. Wicked will travel to over a dozen cities during the 2017-2018 season, including Appleton, Cincinnati, Fort Lauderdale, Indianapolis, Omaha, and Pittsburgh. So be sure to catch this unforgettable fan-favorite show when it flies into your city. The touring production of Rodgers and Hammerstein's The Sound of Music recently welcomed Broadway favorite Nicholas Rodriguez in the role of Captain George Von Trapp. Tony-winning director Jack O'Brien, whose vision has made this production a must-see for longtime fans and new ones, says Nicholas's voice is one of the major theatrical gifts he's ever known, and that audiences will hear this great music sung as beautifully as can be imagined. There's nothing quite like the experience of seeing a classic Rodgers and Hammerstein musical live on stage. So do yourself a favor and take a trip to the hills of Austria when The Sound of Music goes up at a theater near you. Over the course of eight episodes, Something Rotten's Rob McClure has taken us on buses and planes, inside dressing rooms and theater houses, and to landmark destinations all across the country with his backstage video blog, Bottoms Up. He's also answered questions from fans, interviewed co-stars like Adam Pascal, and given us an inside look at what it's like to be part of a touring production. Bottoms Up has been so entertaining that we'd be heartbroken to see it end which is why it isn't. Rob will continue to take us to cities including Baltimore, Omaha, Austin, and Houston as the hilarious Something Rotten tour brings the renaissance across the country. Keep an eye out for new episodes of Bottoms Up on Broadway.com. The date is set. The 18th annual Broadway.com Audience Choice Awards will be presented at a private reception in New York City on May 25th. Who will be among this year's winners? That's your call, since these are the only major theatrical prizes awarded exclusively by online votes from theatergoers. And of course, fans always get to choose their favorite touring production. The best way to be an informed voter? Seeing as many tours as possible. Additional information, including dates for the nomination process and voting, will be announced soon, so make sure you keep heading to the theater. For more Broadway and tour buzz, visit Broadway.com. And to find out where all of these hit shows are playing close to your home, visit BroadwayAcrossAmerica.com. See you next month with a look behind the scenes of the best that touring Broadway has to offer.